So we're going to try and keep it um, at a high level today. And in the, at the end, we'll put up some of the contact numbers for our national carbon agronomist. And uh, we'll be able to drill down with people's programs and have a bit of a chat around uh, what the application might be on your own enterprise. But one of the key things that we've seen across Australia is, and I'll refer to this 80-year um, trial that was done at the Walpi Up Research Station. And if you have a look at all the all of the key drivers of soil performance and soil health, you'll see there there's been a steady decline over that time. The thick, dark blue label at the top, the line at the top, is actually soil carbon. And so whilst we've seen a decline in all, decline in all key components, we've actually seen a very heavy decline in soil carbon. And our agro agronomists and specialists, this is what we're actually seeing out in the field across Australia as well. And it's not just in a cropping enterprise, it's also been in a lot of our pasture markets also. Then in the mid 80s, all of a sudden you can see there that there's one that actually starts to jump through the ceiling. And that's the um, bacteria levels in the soil. And whilst bacteria and fungi are very, very important in the soil, they have two different, um, very different uh, activities. So Bacteria actually oxidise carbon, so in, the, in decomposing plant matter, etc., in the soil, they will actually oxidise carbon back up into the atmosphere, so you lose it from your soil structure. Whereas fungi have the ability to be able to store that and sequester carbon in the soils. And in a high productive um, normal cropping area, you would get a fungi to bacteria ratio of about one to one. And what we're seeing um, across Australia is that we're becoming very bacterial dominant in the soils. And in a lot of cases, that's driven around um, high nitrogen use or unbuffered nitrogen use. And so one of the things um, when Rod talks through his component is some simple things that we've put in place to help turn the worm, if you like, around that. And one of the key parts as you go through this, and I know, um, a lot of the farmers across Australia and distributors that we talk with, there's a lot of trepidation around how do we transition. And really what we focus on is what we call fusion farming. So it's not going completely away from one system to another, but we actually walk side by side and help you in that transition to do some simple steps to how do we actually improve this.